Welcome to episode 1066, Srida Vembu, Nine Lessons. This is an outline of episode 1066, lesson 1 to 5. This is lesson 6 to 9. Lesson 1, teaching the poor students to program. That can solve the unemployment crisis in India by turning the remotest villages of India into the tech hubs of the world. Middle class Indian families, when you say middle class in India, that would be maybe the top 10, 15 percent of the population. I mean, 80 percent of the population is actually, you know, by poor by any world global standard. He said, we cannot really go to the middle class schools. They will not come. The, you know, the parents would not want to send. So let's go to the neighborhood schools that are, you know, where the kids have a real need, put them in our program. So poor kids from not very good schools. Yes, that's what we started doing. Lesson two, his route is in rural India. We're familiar, that's about 650 kilometers from here. It's only a population of about 60,000. So by Indian standards, you would call it a very small town. And part of it is I, you know, even though I grew up in Chennai, I'm. I'm fundamentally rural at heart. Lesson three, no sales, no business. And I de facto become a salesman. I remember the business card I printed, VP of Business Development. Just randomly I gave myself the title. Then I realized I'm actually not so bad at selling. People actually buy the stuff, whatever I'm selling. Then I convinced myself, so I must be a salesman then. I always tell people, you first have to be a salesman. Before, before you are anything, you have to be in sales because there is no business without sales. Right? Lesson four, think long term, focus on survival. What were you thinking? What, what did you actually want to build at the time? We wanted to build a long term company that was, but I was focused on survival. My first thought, first year, maybe the second year was, you shouldn't go out of business. That's Lesson five, the gap between academic performance and job performance. And I decided, you know, when I looked at our stats of our employee performance, I found that there wasn't any correlation between their academic background, which college they came from, how well they did in school, as, you know, and how they were doing in the work, workplace. So there was not much of a correlation between the two. Lesson six, he's the bootstrap king. No venture capital. He just brought two PCs we had at that time. I had a PC, he had a PC, he brought them both here. And that's how it started with nothing. There wasn't any idea of VC because you have to go to a VC, you have to actually have an idea, right? Just the idea that we'll figure it out is not a VC ready idea. Lesson seven, dogged persistence. Uh, this thing I learned from the Japanese, by the way. I observed the Japanese very closely. I looked at companies like Honda or Canon, all of these. How did the Japanese figure out all these technologies? You know, in 100 years ago, in 1905, Japan could not manufacture a bicycle. Around that time, British India had some companies that could do those things. Japan had none. How did they figure out all this? It's from the zero, the, the same way that I described this process. And I realized that the Japanese, one thing they had was dogged persistence. Lesson 8, his mission is made in India. On this, slowly it became a mission. I mean, I don't know that it started out as a mission. It was more of an adventure maybe. But slowly it became a mission. And what is a mission? And I look at this he mentioned, to me it's a kind of shame that we have all this talent in this country and we don't, we import so many of the critical technologies I mean, if you take, take the technologies in this room, probably about 80% of the value is imported. All the cell phones in your pockets, 80% or 90% or 95% of the value in it is imported. As a nine, ability to learn is more important than a college degree. But my specialized job now involves compilers here, which I didn't take any class on. Almost anything you do, it's because your job is randomly distributed in this continuum somewhere, what you actually studied and what your job does will have no relevance. So the only thing that will stick with you hopefully is ability to learn by yourself. Which, truth to be told, you don't really need a degree to, to know how to learn. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below.
wishing everyone peace and prosperity.